In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a master template file for a subject. In the previous video, uh, there was an example of how to create individual page templates from a workbook that a student already has. But in this video, I'll be showing you how you can create one master file that contains all the templates that students would need for a semester or an entire subject. Now, in the example that I'm showing you, I've got one section for the subject that would be distributed, but you may decide that for your subject, it makes more sense to have one section per year level if the templates are different from year to year or maybe individual subjects. But for now, what you need to know is that one section, including all the pages that belong to that section, actually turns into a template for your students so that anything within that section will be available to your students to use as templates. So the first example that I've got here is the program music listening task. There are three questions. The same three, three questions would be used for any task that the students do based on listening. It didn't matter what the piece of music was, the same three questions would be used. So it's the kind of document that we would uh, be using quite often and we don't want to have to put multiple copies in because we don't necessarily know just how many we'll get through, but we do want the same format. So in this case, we've got our music templates section and we've got the page that we want to use as a template. Now, if I had other pages that I wanted as templates, for example, different glossary sections or particular documents that I wanted the students to handwrite on, for example, a musical staff, or in the example of maths, it might be a quiz sheet for English, it might be uh, lists of words, all sorts of things that could have uh, uses for templates. You would have each of the templates down your new page or down your pages column and whatever pages were there will then end up in the templates that the students can access. So first thing, we need to know where our workbook is saved. In this case, it's in my D Drive OneNote Notebooks folder and it's called Templates. So if I now open that up in Windows Explorer, D Drive, OneNote Notebooks, and it's the Templates Notebook. Now, as I said, it's a section file that actually creates the templates. And in this case, it's called Music Templates. So we're looking for a .1 file. Your computer may or may not show that. But if we have a look at the type, it says Microsoft OneNote section. That's the file that we want. So we need to right click and copy that file so that we have it available to us. Now the next step will differ quite a bit depending on your subject area. In my case, I'm using this for Year 7 music. So I would go into the L drive, which is the shared folder for Year 7s and 8s. Uh, it's the M drive for Broadmeadows classes. So into the year level folder, subject area, to music. Now in this case, I'm using the other resources folder. You may wish to have a folder called templates or OneNote templates within your subject area. And I paste, right click and paste the file into here. Now I've already got one in there, so I'm just going to replace that one. So now the music templates OneNote section, as you can see there, is in this folder. Now the magic thing that we've got going on here is this little icon here. It's like a little folder with an arrow. That's called a shortcut and it's named drag OneNote template file and drop it here. This is a link to the folder on the student's computer where their template files are stored. The students can't access this normally and so we need to use this link. Um, it will be provided uh, in the same location as this video, so you'll just need to put that link into your network folder wherever you put your template file. So what we do is simply drag that file there onto the folder that says drag OneNote template file and drop it here and let it go. The students will follow the same process. They just need to click on the OK button when the warning comes up. Uh, staff won't necessarily need to do this unless they're using those templates as well. But for all the students, the process will be the same. Drag and drop onto the folder. If we now go back into OneNote and I decide to go into a Year 7 Music eBook, if I click on the drop down for New Page and go to Page Templates, all of a sudden, as well as the My Templates that I generated in the other video, I've now got a Music Templates section with Program Music Listening Task. Now that was the only template that I had in my template file, so it's the only one that shows up here. If I'd had 10, 15, 100 templates, they would all show up in here. 
if you wish to have multiple sets of templates for a subject, for example, you may wish to have a geography set of templates, a history set of templates, or a geometry, algebra, etc. for your subject, you might set up different section files. So it might be called maths, algebra, maths, um, geometry, whatever else, uh, to keep them organized, rather than having a list of 50 or 60 different templates that you might want in the one column. But that is the process for using templates and being able to create a master list. This is designed mostly for heads of learning to generate one single set of templates for a KLA rather than individual teachers setting up their own. If individual teachers want students to have a template, they can do that through the other method of just create a page and then share it as a template. But this is generally for KLAs to then create one master set of templates that the entire subject area can use.